Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today's video is a little gem. A little, if I, I mean, if I do say so myself. So today I'm taking you guys thrift store book shopping with me. Uh, well, honestly, I've already been, and so let's not lie to each other. Let's not start off our relationship with lies. I've already been to the bookshop. I bought the books. I'm gonna roll the footage now for you. Maybe put a little classical music over it. The Americans will love this. The Americans will love this now. much footage okay and that the reason for that is I am recovering from agoraphobia so when I am on an outing a lot of my energy is going towards staying on the outing as opposed to um, just making a beeline um, towards home you know so here we have it and um, I actually had a little chat with the, the man who owned the bookstore. He was outside chatting to his friend the whole time and I really liked that. And then he came back in and he it was like, oh, sorry, I haven't seen that fella for a long time and he could talk a rat to death. And I was like, oh, and I just hope that's what my friends say about me, you know? So, so the first book that I got is this beauty. It's in such good condition. I imagine that it probably had a dust jacket, um, but it is, can you see that? Can you see that okay? Um, it is The Romantic Novels of Barbara Cartland, The Love Puzzle. Uh, and this is number 14. So this is from 1986. And I don't know a whole lot about it, other than it's, oh, but I just love it. When I saw it, I was like, oh, yes, yes. So I'm actually gonna look it up right now on Goodreads. Maybe I should have done this before the video, but I just wanna share everything with you guys. I want us to be like codependent on each other. So it's by Barbara Cartland and uh, Dame Mary Barbara Hamilton Cartland. What a name. There she is with her, I'll put up a picture. She's here with her little dog. Uh, was, it, was an English writer during her long career. She wrote over 700 books, making her one of the most prolific authors of the 20th century. She sold over 1000 million copies throughout the world earning her a place in the Guinness Book of Records, the world's most famous romantic novelist. She also wrote autobiographies, biographies, health and cookery books, and stage plays, and recorded an album of love songs. Okay, I need to listen to the love songs while reading this book. Yeah, and she's often billed as the queen of romance. Let's read the first line. Should I do it in an English accent or no? Probably no, I just, I won't do that. It is absolutely ridiculous, Lady Branston stormed. I cannot imagine anything the Duke will dislike more than having a stupid, unfledged young girl of 18 at his party. <laughs> Amazing. Next, we have Macbeth. A very nice penguin um, copy of Macbeth by no other than William Shakespeare. So I haven't, I haven't read a play, not since school. I mean, I, not since leaving search. Um, oh, this is, Underlined, nice, bit of annotation. So yeah, I haven't read a play since uh, Leaving Cert. We read Othello, but I don't think we read the whole play. I think we just read like key scenes, or at least that's what I did. I don't know what everyone else was doing. Okay, sorry, we have to read the first line. It's the introduction, we don't need to read the introduction. Okay, there's thunder and lightning. 
And then uh, three three witches enter. When shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? Okay. That's a bit weird. So they all walk in and <laughs> straight away they're organizing their next meetup. Okay. Next, um, we have survivalist number five, the web, where there are no safe options. How long can one man survive? So the Harley Davidson lowrider safely hidden in the undergrowth. John Rourke edged forward to look down on the valley. What he saw amazed him. Behind him, back through the Tennessee hills, lay nuclear devastation, roaming bands of kill-crazy brigands, Russian invaders, uh, ruin and disease. Wow. Uh, in front, seemingly untouched, lay old-fashioned small-town America. White-painted churches, well-tended homes, neat teenagers, okay, corner stores, uh, the town library, a filling station, <laughs> so specific, uh, even the factory on the edge of town still hummed with activity. A mirage or for real? And if for real, maybe a trap? Desperate for supplies, Rourke, CIA-trained weapons and survival expert, knew that some risks are unavoidable. He had to go into town. He had to take a chance. Did he? I don't know, I probably wouldn't have. So let's read the first line. John Rourke stood in the rain. He landed the beach craft because the plane had been almost out of fuel. I mean... If that doesn't get you excited. <laughs> so, I have a feeling this might be hilariously bad, but I just, I do like uh, vintage kind of mass paperbacks. That's my jam. Uh, next, we have this absolute beauty. The Enormous Shadow by Robert Harling. Look at this. So this one is from 1956. So this is a classic thriller. Like It's got all this like, it's got all these astrology imagery going on here. Uh, so yeah, it wouldn't be the typical cover for a, a classic thriller, but I really love it. And this is the author. I'm <laughs> just peeking over. Uh, a sinister looking man, one could say. Hello there. Look at that, that's nice, isn't it? I like that a lot. Needs a little dust. Needs a little dust. So, that is all, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Okay, that's it. So, I don't know. See you soon. Or as the witch from Macbeth said, when should we meet again? When it's rainy? When it's th lightning? Like, let's make a plan, guys.